Hi everyone, this is the second part of Laravel localization and here we will discuss some advanced features of Laravel localization. Uh, I hope you remember that in last part we learned some basic things about localization like what is localization, how we can publish it, how we can create new files and folder for this, uh, how we can change default localization and all. So what we will learn now, see we first we will see how we can change localization for some specific route. Then we'll see how we can pass parameter to the localization and this point is very important whenever you will work on any real uh, real time Laravel project with the localization this point will save your lots of time. So be focused on this point after that we'll see how we can provide an option to the user so that user can uh, select the language for the uh, project or your Laravel application and even after refresh or after visiting the other page that language will be set only that will be the default language kind of for project right how we can do that so we'll learn this and for that first we have to make a middleware then we will have to set the uh, localization language to the session and then we'll see how we can update that localization language with the help of middleware and at last we'll discuss some important interview questions this is the playlist for laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for laravel project job and interviews so you can access this playlist from description box of this part all right so now let's move on first thing and see how we can change localization for some specific right route uh, right now you can see that if we want to change the language what we need to do first you have to visit the dot env file then if i just select there achai hindi then that language will be the hindi if i just make it ko then the language will be the korean and if i just set en then the language will be the english we know that right but let's say for any specific page maybe for about page you want to change this language and that should be chosen by the uh, you can say that uh, user only right so how we can do that so for that first of all let's move to the web.php and change the way of creating the route so what i'm going to do i'll create a route get then we'll put about and then there's a function and there we can return a view right and you will see this is still working fine there is a no issue at all but you have to put the semicolon for that right this is still working fine so now what we want user can send uh, the language by there so let's say if this we select english then we have to send en for hindi we have to send he for korean we have to send ko for that you have to take one more one parameter for this let's say lang then pass this variable to the function and then you will see it will perfectly working fine right but language is still uh, english only if i just choose here hi or korean th this is not making an impact so what you need to do before return just choose their app colon colon set locale then just change set the length and what language with whatever we are passing to the uh, url and now you will see we have this page in hindi in korean and english too uh, en it should be en right so this is perfectly working fine okay so this is the first point now the thing is uh, so let's say we are on the default page now for perfect so we want to pass some parameter to the localization maybe you have some question there like what is parameter and why we have to pass to the localization so let me explain you with one line of code so let's move to the welcome.blade.php and there i'm writing one syntax and the syntax is hi everyone this is anil siddhu i hope you doing well so this is very simple syntax if i just refresh you can see that this is perfectly visible but now i want to change uh, this static string to with the localization but the thing is that name can be dynamic right so this is very easy to just put in the any of the programming language so let's say i'm just copying it then pasting there and i'm putting their key about user and then like this right and then uh, there what i can do i can simply use double curly braces underscore underscore and then we can put there 
welcome dot about user right so that's we have and the u is actually capital for use right so this is perfectly working fine but the thing is this name is basically dynamic right uh, let's say if uh, uh, Peter is login then this name should be Peter if Anil is login then name should be Anil if Bruce is login then it should be Bruce But how we can do that for that we have to send this name from there So you can create just colon name parameter like this and now you can pass as a second Array as a second parameter. So let me put their name and then Anil right because this is a blade uh, Welcome to blade.php is a blade file. So here we can get the name from session not here so we have to pass it uh you can say that as a parameter so i'm just putting there anil siddhu right and if you will just refresh it this is still working fine reason being because the same key we have to put their colon name if i just put their name one so they are not matching right this is a name and this is name one and if i just refresh you can see that so this is anil siddhu one actually because a one can be count as a last character so this could be separate from the name. So if I just put there a one, then you will see this no will name will not be there, right? Like this is directly coming. So their name actually uh, as a parameter, which we are passing from there and visible there. So similarly for other programming language, if I just simply copy it and translate it for other language, let's say English to Hindi, then I'll say uh, this and there I can simply put my name and it'll say do and colon at the last so that I can identify this is right so if I just go to the Hindi then I'll say about user then we can paste it like this and there the name it, it should be actually name like this so that we can accept this parameter and for Korean also let me just translate to the Korean like this right so let me replace it with the same way and then we can change it with the name right so same to the Hindi and everything so if I just choose their uh, language and it'll this is still working fine and if I just pass their uh, where is this blade.php if I just pass there Peter then you will see we are getting Peter there and let's say if we are changing the language dot env this is still working fine with the other for Hindi also here you can see that and then for English also uh, Korean also still perfectly working fine so let me change it in the English and we learned that how we can pass uh, you can say that uh, parameter right so the next thing is let me just refresh it and coming back to the English so next is uh, so till now we are changing this localization language by dot env file but let's say we want to give an option to the user to choose the language right so let me create uh, something for this on the top of this I am creating h1 tag and putting there choose your language right and after that if I just put there some anchor tags and there I'll put set lang and then I'll say this is en English and I'll just put their English text like this similarly i'm creating two more for hindi and korean and here i can say that hindi and korean and if you will see there you will find three okay so uh, let me just add some br tags also there all right so here you can see that we have english hindi and korean we have these three uh, language 
okay but how we can uh, set the language now uh, with these three menus so first we have to create a route for this so let me create one more route and let's say route name is uh, get type and obviously the path should be the same whatever we are passing there right the last one can be dynamic so what i'll do there slash then uh, we have to use lang there as a parameter and then function dollar lang all right after that what we'll do we'll return it uh, the language whatever we are using so let me put their lang only right and at the last let's semicolon there also now you will find that if i just click on the english we are getting en if i just click on the hindi we are getting hi so whatever is the second parameter we are getting there right so now the thing is what we need to do we can set this language to the session and how we can access a session there session then colon colon port and there we can say that lang then dollar lang like this all right so now uh, our language is put to the uh, session if i just click there first is this is set to the uh, session and then this is returning but why we need to return this what why we cannot uh, go back to the this page right to the home page so for that what you can do you can just redirect to the home page so let me like do that like this and if i'll just come back there and it will automatically direct it to the home page here you can see that even this is not showing like we are going to the some other route because this is uh, changing very quickly all right okay so language is set but now we have to set it uh, app dot lang uh, set locale for all of the routes so this is not possible to just use the same syntax for all of the route this is like if we have uh, 1000 routes so we can not do that for uh, that same thing for every route right so what we need to do there we have to create a middleware and for that i am just creating a middleware php artisan make middleware and middleware name middleware name can be let's say set lang and if just enter there you will see that uh, we have one more middleware and this is placed inside the app http controller and there right so we'll write some code after some time but first we have to see that how we can register it right and to register it we have to uh, go to the app.php and there we have a with middleware uh, function right and there you can simply set their dollar middleware then append to group and then this group have two parameter first one is let's say set lang right so this is the group name and second parameter we have to pass the middleware that we want to register so our middleware name is let me show you which is set lang so how we can import it first just copy that name uh, space use this path and after that let's put your uh, set lang uh, that uh, middleware name like this right and there uh, in a second parameter what we can do we can use this set lang colon colon class and at last we can put the uh, this uh, semicolon and now you will see uh, okay we have to run it uh, the php artisan server and you will see everything is still working fine but now how we can apply this middleware we registered it we created this but to apply this we have to uh, come to the web.php so there uh, around the all of the routes just simply put one more route route middleware and then middleware name and our middleware name will be for example set lang right this will be our middleware name because we just put their uh, set lang if we have let's say set lang locale or something then you have to use the same name for there so right now we have set lang copy it and paste it there 
and then we can see that group like this and then function and inside this we can keep all of our routes like this right let's try again if everything is working fine still you can see that everything is working fine and now this middleware is applicable for all routes so you can just write anything there if i just put there let's say hello you will see this is working if i just refresh it you can see that we are getting this hello text on the top right because middleware actually run first then uh, the other things will be executed so now in this thing what we need to do there uh, here you can see that this code right app dot set local so same thing uh, the that language we have in the session we have to get the language from the session and uh, then we have to store to the set local so just come there and first we check if dollar request session and and inside this session if we have a uh, lang like this right then what we can do we can use the app colon colon set local set local and inside this let's put the all of this thing like this and it should work right but the thing is uh, in the middleware if you are using the app class then you have to put a you have to go uh, one folder back so just simply put there backslash right and now if i just refresh you can see that this is still working fine so i'm setting uh, the language in the session is hindi and now you can see that because uh, first we are just clicking this thing right and this will route to the this code first right and the session will be set after that whenever we will request any uh, other route then uh, this code will be executed and our local is set to the from the uh, session and now you can that's why whenever we just click on the korea or something the language is getting changed for user and even this is not only changed for this route this is changed for every route so there in uh, about we are actually setting manually so if i'll just comment it out there and just simply create their route colon colon view about comma about you will find that the local is changed for this one also so right now you can see that for home page we have local korean and if i just go to the about still we have korean and if i just choose their hindi still on the about page we have hindi similar for english we have the english language and about page also so this is that how we can select the like uh, localization by the user right and for interview question the second point is important uh, how we can pass the parameters to the localization right and the first one is also important like how we can uh, change the localization for some specific route Thank you so much. If you still have any doubt, confusion, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm donation number. And please subscribe my channel, share your feedback in comment section. Thanks guys.